Hey, what is going on guys in Bass Pro? It's Black Friday. So I decided to come pick up a cast net. Now, I'm looking at them. None of them are on sale, but I'm still gonna buy one anyways because it's Black Friday. I gotta buy something. Okay, back from Bass Pro Shops. Got the net right here. And I only took like four practice throws, two using one technique, then two using uh, the technique I used to use when I had my last net, which was only a six foot net, which means it expands to 12 feet. This one that I got is an eight foot net and it expands to 16 feet. So anyways, the last one I got was meant for greenback and this one is meant for mullet. It is an eight foot net, as I just said. There's one inch squares on it. It's made out of monofilament, which is a plastic. It's not really like a thread, like some of the other styles of nets. And there's 1.3 pounds of weight per foot on this net. So total, this net weighs 20 something pounds and you need a throw. It. So it takes a lot of practice, but I learned the best way to throw it is using my old technique, adjusting it a little bit, and then I have to spin around one time just to get all this weight out here because this is just a block of lead. I mean, obviously you guys can't feel how heavy that is, but let me just tell you, it is like super heavy. We're at Skyway Fishing Pier, and today we're catching a whole lot of fish. Okay guys, first one of the day, not a huge fish, but I mean, he's a pretty good size for the species. And that right there is what they call the false eye. So if a predatory fish comes by trying to eat this, they'll think that's his eye. So when they hit that, that gives the fish a chance to go away because they won't stun it and they won't kill it and he'll just swim away. All right, so let's let him go right now. Okay, so guys, all I'm doing to catch these fish is I'm taking a sabiki rig, which is just a rig with a bunch of small hooks on it and putting a piece of shrimp on every single hook. Then I'm casting it out just like that. So not too far, maybe 50 feet out, let it sink to the bottom, and almost instantaneously you get a bite. Got one. Got one already, just like that. Just cast it out, and right away, got a small fish. I mean, not, not big fish, but there's just schools of them out there, schools by the hundreds. Across this whole pier, there's probably hundreds of thousands of these guys all across. Ooh, man, this is a nice size, has a little bit more color than the last one. Let's get him on camera. All right, so I caught this one right here, pretty good size, and then my cousin catches two on the same rig. That's the fun part about using sabiki rig. Potentially, you can catch up to five on one rig, so it's just so much fun. Because they have like human teeth, as you can see that. So nasty, you do not want to get bit. Woo okay, we're letting the second one go right now. You guys, look at that color underneath them. It's just like a nice blue color on the bottom fins. Looks amazing, let's let them go. Got one. Oh man, this is a nice one. I might have got two. I might have got two. Feels like, yeah, it feels like multiple fish. Oh no, this is a beast. Oh yeah, I got two. Got two of them. Five hooks, two fish. There we go, guys. Two fish. All right, that's a pretty nice fish right there. Let's let them go. Oh man, that's a nice one. Maybe I got two. Oh, either that's a really big one or I got two of them. Oh, one might have just came off. Oh man. Yeah, one def. Oh, that's a big guy. We're keeping him. Oh, they got one, they got one. That actually has me, I'm keeping him. So guys, there's a red down by the tail, a little bit of black on the very edge yellowish orange all throughout the body and just really nice stripes. Okay, let's let him go. Oh, I got one dink. I don't want him. It's like weird Jamaican music. Whatever it is, it's Jamaican music. Now guys, I forget what this fish is called. I know he has teeth, but just look at that mouth. Look how it opens. That is sick. Anyways, their mouth opens just like that. I'm not hurting the fish at all, and I'm barely applying any pressure. That's just how their mouth opens, and it's really cool. But anyways, just look at that color next to his head. That just looks amazing. Work everyone like it's a monster. I had two. Oh, you got two. Dude, what is that? That's, That's a, a baby. Tiny idiot. 
<laughs> That's like, what is that? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the same species, just a super <laughs> tiny baby. Still don't know what it is. He's still, uh, the kid's holding another grouper right there. Yeah, so the first one was a grouper. They're keeping it. I'm not sure if it's actually of size to keep, but he's on with, I think, the same species, but a lot bigger. Pretty sure they're gag grouper, but I wasn't really close enough to find out. Okay, so guys, this is something that's never happened with me before. This is like a giant greenback, and I don't know what's going on with that color, but pretty much his back is supposed to be green, but it is not green. It's like this, rainbow color. Okay, guys, wind is picking up quite a lot. I hope you guys can hear me fine. Just caught another little fish. I have no idea what it is. Guys, I'm not sure if you can see that, but just look at those colors. Okay, not the big guy I was going for, but I'll take it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Total, we caught anywhere from 50 to 60 fish. We caught a whole lot of regular pinfish, and I didn't put those on camera just because, I mean, they're just pinfish. Nothing really special. I didn't throw out the shark rod, even though I had a lot of bait for them, had a lot of greenback, had a lot of pinfish, but I didn't want to do that just because we're on a pier, and if I was beach fishing, I definitely would have caught a shark, but because we're on a pier, it's easier to catch shark, but then you can't really pull them up because if they're bigger than like 60 or 70 pounds, you just can't pull them up because you got to pull them up a good like 20 feet and it's just way too stressful to do that. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click that circle right there. If you want to watch the last video, click the box right there. And as always, stay fishing.